Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap is all machine work, mill machine and lathe. The last month's giveaway was claimed. That was posted off. The lad received all his bits and pieces and he's very happy. I've had some of your mail came in earlier on this week uh, from America from a lad called Nevin Summers. That's going to form part of next month's giveaway, but more of that later on. This is what Nevin sent in uh, to go into next month's draw. It's a metric micrometer. But it's what they call an easy read micrometer. It, instead of having the thimble with divisions on, it's actually got a, a digital readout there, mechanical readout on there. I have used these before in Imperial. We did have a set at the last place I worked. Feels nice and smooth. I'll get a test piece in there and we'll see what sort of accuracy it actually it gives. Okay, this is a 40mm slip gauge. We're getting a reading of 40.016. So it's not it's not like super accurate, but it is adjustable as an adjusting spanner there for it, so it could be set up. 40.0 40.00 really may make dead nuts on or very very slightly oversized Right, Nevin, thanks very much. That's definitely going to go into next month's giveaway. I'm sure some of you will really make good use of that. As usual, if you want to take part in next month's giveaway, all you need to do is send me an email containing your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name will go into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post this off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. As I keep saying, it's just a little way of me saying thanks very much for all the help and support I've had over the years. With the YouTube channel. I could quite easily put that micrometer in all of my cupboards and it would never ever see the light of the day again but I'd much rather that it was given away somebody gets use from it. If you happen to win it you do doing want it give it to somebody that can use it. I've basically finished the little quill DRO installation well things I never finished they keep on changing things. I've also mounted the switch on here as well the on off switch and the, the jog buttons and the speed control what I actually did, I glued this on with double sided tape just to make sure I light it there and I do it's safe, it's out of the way because I don't run coolant, it won't get any water in it. So, all I did, I took the back off here, the back off the switch, and I drilled two little four mil holes and put two nuts and bolts in. I was surprised at how little there is inside this, it's an aluminium housing and there's loads of space. Same with the little quill de I used a supply bracket. On a piece of aluminium angle, and that's just held on with two little four mil screws. Quite pleased with it. One thing it does do when you turn it off, I've mentioned this before, and you turn it back on, it goes back to the same position, it doesn't go to zero. So basically, everything now is here on one little console. I'm quite pleased with it. And I'm very pleased with it. Try a little experiment. I'll bring the quill down. It's got a cutter on the end, it's just touching the vise. I'll lock the quill off. And if I zero the Z axis, and I zero the quill, that's turn it off, John. That zeroes it. I'm going to wind the table down 10 mil. It's easier to come back up onto 10. Right, that's 10 mil, 10 mil in the fanny's hair. If we bring the quill down now, and we've got 10 mil dead, so it's at least as accurate as the DRO is on the Z axis. 
I gave the lad his tractor level and box back. He's happy with what I've done, the, the bush and the new shaft. He's not happy with the fit of that into the nut. I must admit, I'm not happy either. It would never pull out, but it could be a lot better. So we're going to make a new nut, cut that one off and weld a new nut on, then it will make the job 100% right. My friend Scott made this bush for us on his CNC lathe. He's threaded it seven by inch and an eighth width worth, but he hasn't fully completed the thread. I put a brand new tap, which I'm going to screw in just to finish the thread off. Right, that's a top all the way through, so those threads now should be perfect. Quite off the screw cutting to nearly full size and then putting a, a nice new sharp top through gives you a really good thread. Right, that definitely is the dog's bollocks that is tight. I'm sure even Shane will be happy with that. I know I am. Absolutely perfect, that. I've mounted this in the lathe. Obviously I can't part that off all the way through, but I can <coughs> cut most of the way through it and then just finish it off with a grinder. It will be a Possible to set it up in the four jaw chuck and put a steady on, but for what I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is get a nice square groove through there, just as a reference mark to cut it off, that's all. Nice and gently, and I've got one hand on the clutch, and we'll do a diggies in. Right, so that's quite nicely chopped off. A decades of filthy grease in there. Clean that out, clean it all up and then chamfer the other part, weld it on and that should be the end of the bastard thing.
around the world. Uh, but I'm telling you now, that bastard's not coming off there. I'm sure you'll recognise this straight away as the actual handle of the locking device that holds the fireboards up on the centre of the steam wagon. That bit's obviously old, that bit's not. The fireboards are actually stainless and that bolt went through the centre of the fireboards and it was seized in absolutely solid while it heated up red hot to get it out. So what I'm going to do is make a brass pin to go through there. A piece of brass bar there. Just a a looseless fitting pin with a nice head on it and that will be drilled to take a split pin the brass certainly won't seize up and it gives Richard something else to polish And that's damaged at once, cleaning it out. But that pin is slightly smaller than that bolt, so it should be a nice free fit.
sure you'll agree that looks a lot better than that horrible bolt. We'll get a stainless split pin for there as well. 